Good evening and welcome to Letters from the Light Side. Uh, my name is Annie Conboy. I'm a medium and psychic and this is my channel broadcast from my guides and inspirers on this lovely sunny evening um, and um, hopefully it will help make some sense of uh, the energy that we're in and what's been happening for you over the last week and what's likely to be coming up in the next week. Um, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm a bit hot because it's been really warm here today uh, but I'm also smiling a little bit because um, the, uh, the weather has reminded me of one of the things that is a key part of actually uh, what happens when you get an energy activation. Um, uh, if you watched last week, you may remember that I talked about um, uh, the energy of Saturday, Sunday and Monday. In fact, it was Archangel Ateliel who talked about that energy. And he was telling me that we would get a nice uh, boost and that that boost would um, uh, give us a lift uh, into the week which was really nice because we'd had quite a strong energy around us and that we were uh, processing and clearing the Atlantean energy, our ancestral um, connections to Atlantis in order to help us to uh, work on the ascension back to a purer form of energy. Anyway, <laughs> you may have found yourself feeling a little bit discombobulated on Saturday, Sunday or Monday because we didn't just get a nice flow of energy, we also got an activation. Um, so you might have felt like you weren't quite here or there you might have felt like you were still off on another planet somewhere, certainly not completely clicked into Mother Earth. Um, you might have found yourself um, a little bit uh, abstract, not quite, thoughts not quite flowing as normal, or a little bit slower to act. Um, and uh, you might have found that you suddenly got bombarded with even more uh, vivid dreams and that people people in those dreams were people that you knew in this life maybe not around you now but certainly people that you knew and recognized um, and this Atlantean activation is actually coming from the um, light codes that we need in order to process completely and finish uh, dealing with that energy so it meant um, that it was a, a very uh, <laughs> a strange boost. It, you might have found it, it was positive. It felt positive, but it was felt strange. And you might also have felt rather hot. You might have felt a bit snuffly. Um, what, what we're doing is opening the door within ourselves to help ourselves access that Atlantean wisdom um, and access our intuitive abilities so you might have found over this last few days that your intuition has been nagging 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 and that your um, uh, second guessing or your clear vision might have been really active um, you've had an activation in order to bring your psychic senses more online uh, bring them into your conscious mind and to allow you to use them, um, really use them, <laughs> not just sort of go, oh yeah, they're there, but actually to start using them because what we are being given through this activation is the connection back to uh, the mission that we have, the, the kind of why we're here-ness of it and to help us to deal with um, uh, putting our life into the kind of order or process that is right for us. Now, that doesn't mean everybody's going to do the same thing. It doesn't mean that everybody's got the same set of tasks. What it means is that through your intuition, you will be guided further along the path of doing what you're here to do. 
Now, that also means that you might not know. <laughs> and the dreams that have been coming through, as well as clearing, may very well be starting to give you little snippets and signals of what you're actually here to do. Um, a lot of my dreams seem to be um, where there's a lot of uh, drama <laughs> and I'm, I'm sort of trying to smooth it out and sort out the energy and sort out the drama, which makes a little, uh, some sense. Uh, but you might pick up on, um, you know, the, the kind of feel of the dream, uh, pick up on the people in the dream. Who are the people who are important who are popping into your dream? Um, you know, have, have they their part in your life brought things that you need to recognise and to uh, open up to about yourself? Um, you know, people aren't necessarily bad or good. People come into our lives to prompt us to take actions and to do things. And that may not be the way we perceive it. We may think of it as a bad influence, but it might end up jump-starting us into doing something that we really need to do. We may think it's a good influence and then find that we've wandered off on the wrong path. So this activation um, has opened up some more inner doors, opened up some options and some possibilities. And it's that that's really important to recognise about this and to let yourself just gently kind of get used to. Um, I'm very aware, although Ray's here with me this evening, I'm very aware and I have been aware that I've been getting a lot of communication from um, a group of energy beings I call the collective. Uh, they are the architects who worked with the Earth's Archangels in order to make this universe happen in order to construct the earth and to make this reality in the beginning. There are very evolved, advanced uh, uh, beings and uh, they are uh, beings who understand conscious unity far more than the sort of dim, dim edges of it that we're seeing at the moment. And they keep talking and have been talking all this week about our opportunities to go one better uh, we're back in a position at the moment, globally, hu as human beings, faced with enormous challenges and faced with trying to do um, the right things for each other, to be to make it a, a global community, to, to become um, unified. And we've been around this loop. They keep telling me this is not the first time you've been around this loop as human beings. Uh, this is not the first time you've got to a certain point and then it's all kind of drifted away. Um, and that what we have to start to help ourselves with now is to recognise that what, what we choose to do has consequences. And I have to say this chimes with what the spirit guides have always said to what to everybody who's tuned in really that there's only one universal law the law of cause and effect and so that what your action whatever action you take brings consequences and that's why we've got a karmic thread in our lives because we come back to deal with the consequences of what we've created and that applies to humanity as a whole. So the activation has come in to put us in contact with those higher beings who can help us to get over this particular hurdle. <laughs> Sorry, I'm laughing because I'm over it. It's just... Just, it's just showing me this massive wall. It's like we're constantly trying to climb the wall as individuals when actually if we all banded together one by one, built a pyramid of people connected, we could get people over the wall. Um, and there's not a drop at the other side. That's the laugh of it. There's not a drop. It's like a wall up to a, another plateau. And, and that's what we've got to understand from the collective. That what we're doing is building, building, building that pyramid of people. That circle of connection. So that when one gets over the wall, everyone gets over the wall, so to speak. Um, and uh, the collective have been very clear this week about how um, the way in which we can 
build better, build more, is to build through our um, desire to bring our children to their fullest potential. So much potential gets wasted. We let ourselves get blocked off or we let ourselves get uh, into rigid beliefs and then we lose the potential. Um, and it's hard then for the higher beings to connect back with us because we've stopped understanding that there is always potential. Um, we've stopped understanding that we need to allow ourselves the potential. And part of, of what the doors are opening is that really deep understanding of our own potential, of what we can achieve as individuals and then what we can achieve at, at if we work together as a as a really concerted effort to put ourselves together to help each other get over this next energetic lift that's what ascension's about it's not one person ascending and i often often have heard people talking about their own ascension or, or wanting to be ascended or or what, whatever it, it means to them but not thinking about, well, it's no good if I'm the one who's there on my own. Um, that's just a personal thing. What, what about everybody else? And, um, and, and that's the point for the collective. It's not about me. It's not about you. It's about everybody having the ability to get over this wall of energy, to get into better energy and so much so we we can help everybody to bring their potential we can inspire others to fulfill their potential and they want to us to understand that although this is a tough month energetically and there's a lot of turbulence uh, we're still being reminded about all of the things we need to change that will not stop until we start those changes there is no place any longer for sticking with it is what it is we're in a place where now we have to say right okay how do i get past that not only that how do i help others to get past that how do i help them to get out of the ways that they are currently limiting themselves help them to stop dividing themselves we're divided because inwardly we're divided we divided because as, as children and young people, we weren't encouraged to grow into a whole rounded person. And that's true. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just smiling away because um, that's one of the frustrations I had as a therapeutic counsellor. And I still do as a um, an intuitive mentor. You know, what can I give? What can I explain what can I share what can I do what action will work to help somebody to see that they've divided themselves and that they're they're equally loving and hating of themselves and it's not the balance I'm achieve, wanting them to achieve the balance I want people to achieve is their wholeness and that can feel very hard and we can feel like we don't know how to do that. But we've got all this help. We've got the higher beings. We've got the collective. We've got the archangels. We've got all the intuitive spirit people. We've got all our loved ones. They're part of this process to stop humanity dragging itself back yet again. We're on a, a cycle of, of almost getting there and then falling back almost getting there and then falling back and that's what's really kind of uh, in a way holding us back is we're not seeing the future we're not taking that that getting over the wall getting over the the bumping ascension energy in so that we can really push ourselves forward so I think it's really important uh, to acknowledge this activation, to, um, you know, look at, at yourself and recognise that, yes, something's different this week than last week. Yes, something has changed and, and that whatever's changed, it doesn't really matter right now. It'll reveal itself in time, but take it as a sign of willingness to 
live to your full potential to say yeah okay well all right i might have bits of me i don't really like <laughs> or i don't care for but i'm going to take this as a sign that i can do more i can do my part i can be part of this movement to change our outcome instead of the outcome of being that we don't get over the wall because it's not a case of one over that's fine it's a case of everyone has to go over this wall together that's the point that the collective keep making it's it's not about oh annie can get over that wall or fred can get over it's about humanity rising enough to get over that wall together for us to understand that we are holding ourselves back that our attitudes and beliefs about ourselves are influencing our attitudes and beliefs about others and therefore holding all of us back because they so want us to get over the wall because what's over the wall actually is a hell of a lot better it's back to more like the Atlantean times where we do have a deeper more compassionate loving sense of each other and that we communicate that love and compassion and that we do things that help one another and that we're not vested in who owns what and who has more and who has less and who can speak and who can't that the division disappears so <laughs> this week coming um Rafe is is saying that we still have turbulent energy, we still have fear. I want to say fear and loathing. We, you know, loathing is what drives a lot. Loathing ourselves is turned outwards so that we loathe others. Um, and that's a different kind of hit. It, it's a, 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 a dismissal of others, a disrespect of others. A kind of you don't count or you don't matter uh, view of the world and it's because we feel it in ourselves for ourselves uh, that it's coming to the surface to help us to deal with it so Rafe's asking you um, to understand the activation is ongoing that bit by bit more and more of you intuition your intuition will come online and more and more your understanding will grow and more and more you'll see the true nature of your spiritual purpose and that's fine but he also wants you to um, recognize that your actions have consequences that doesn't mean you shouldn't act but it just means that you need to come from a, a place of what's coming from my heart what's the best thing that's coming from my heart um and i smile when i say that because he was talking to me yesterday about a, a scheme called food bank friday kind of people on a friday trying to donate to food banks um or to donate in this country or abroad just donate something um this idea that you know, if we feel like we've got enough, can we give something to others? And that's really the theme of the energy of the next week. It doesn't have to be money. We always assume it's got to be money, but it doesn't have to be money. It can be a listening ear. It can be a, a, a service. Um, you know, I, I love it when people smile at me because it gives me permission to smile back. And actually, it, I go and then smile at others and, and we spread the smile. Uh, it could be a thank you. It could be uh, giving somebody directions. It could be anything. We, we can give in so many uh, interesting ways, but we can recognise that maybe we can give to those who right now aren't quite making it through life um, a listening ear to somebody who's got loneliness or uh, some mental health issues could be really could be such a beautiful gift 
it might be four tins of Heinz baked beans in a in the supermarket box for the people who they donate to. Um, one of my favourites is the tin of cat food or a tin of dog food for um, the pets charities. You know, we, we can give so much when we start to recognise that we're all in the same boat, that we're all trying to climb this energy wall to bring about a new type of um, society, a new type of human experience. And so it's important in the next week to ride that wave of, of giving energy um, and to appreciate if someone gives to you, you know, we can't be givers if there are no receivers. <coughs> Sorry, I'm laughing because Ray's just said, we've all forgotten how to receive. <laughs> and I have to admit, I, I'm i very often saying, oh, no, no, I'm fine, I'm fine. And it's, it's sort of like, oh, no, I can't receive. But of course I can receive. Of course I can give someone else the pleasure of giving freely. And then I can pass on my giving freely. It's a way to balance it. So the energies are still going to be choppy, Rafe says. Still going to be choppy. Um, but nothing we can't handle because we've handled it all before. The focus, however, is to try to get into that compassion of giving and receiving. And over the next week, you will get opportunities to receive and he's asking you to be open to and say yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna have that i'm gonna receive that and to say um you know because i've got these lovely things happening to me i'll share that love a little bit and i'll give myself i'll see what i can gift um I don't like taking things, he's laughing, <laughs> I've got some bags for charity shops and of course over the last 18 months uh, charity has been hard because we haven't necessarily been able to give to uh, charities but I've kept my bags on one side because I don't want to give to, throw them in the tip. I don't want to waste those precious resources that went into whatever it is that I'm giving um, and <laughs> That's the lovely thing about activating the Atlantean consciousness and the Ascension consciousness is that we start to value what, what we've got in a different way and we start to recognise that actually we, we use, we consume an awful lot and then we chuck it away. And really, all that energy gets wasted. So we can reuse and repurpose that energy. And we can use our charity shops. We can take a good look around and think, right, okay, well, I won't get rid of that. I'll see what other use I can find for it. We can do these kind of things. Um, that's a loving energy, a positive energy. And Ray says it's very very much around next week despite all of the turbulence we've still got so much going on on a world stage we've still got so much kerfuffle um about how we should deal with covid um how how we work as a globe rather than as individuals or even individual countries um, and there's more of that I almost want to say, and I shouldn't really, I almost want to say more of the same next week. Um, you know, we, we've, we are making, or people are making decisions and maybe not looking at cause and effect. And we have to think about that for ourselves individually, as, a, as communities and as countries and as a global community. How do we find a way through this that is better that doesn't have a heavy price and uh, you know so there's still a lot of debate going on <laughs> sorry I'm laughing because um, 
I've ha been having those kind of debates with Rafe and sort of throwing up my hands and saying, but, you know, h how do we, how do we, um, as, as people, how do we deal with these really challenging um, issues that put us all having to think not just individually but collectively and how do we balance out people's rights and responsibilities and it's a huge ethical question it always will be at the moment because we haven't got over the wall once we've got over the wall it's not going to be an issue <laughs> i am reliably informed <laughs> however what i would encourage you to do is give to yourself next week as well as give to others, remember you are worthy, you are valuable, you are important enough to make sure that you give to yourself the time, the energy, the love, the support that you need. And remember, if you can give that to you, you can then take the opportunity to give it to others and to share the love. Uh, thank you everybody who's been watching. It's lovely to see your names popping up. Um, there's uh, because I'm not I'm not live streaming to YouTube tonight, but the the video will go up to, on YouTube if anybody wants to catch it on my YouTube channel. Other than that, uh, enjoy the sunshine. Apparently, it's going to be really nice for a bit longer. <laughs> enjoy the sunshine. Enjoy the activation. And remember to let yourself be steered by that intuitive heart. Do what you feel is right in your heart. The head, it weighs it up and sometimes gets it wrong. The heart never does. Take care, everyone, and I'll see you next week. Bye.